What's up resellers? I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the Reseller. Thank you for joining me today for another great video all about how to increase your Poshmark sales. Some of the best Poshmark tips and tricks and Poshmark selling tips that I have on my channel are about how to increase your Poshmark sales. For me, it's all about making small improvements, learning new skills, doing different things that you can incorporate into your routine that will help craft a better listing and help getting your listings in front of more people and making those people feel comfortable enough to buy from you. So you guys have watched some of my videos before about how to increase your Poshmark sales by boosting buyer confidence, how to increase your Poshmark sales by creating a listing template, how to add additional keywords to your listings. And this is kind of an extension of all of that. And so today we're gonna to be talking about how to enhance your listings with keywords and sales phrases and how to make your listing a little bit more attractive to buyers. Be sure to stay through this entire video so that you will get all of the keywords that I share in this video as well as some sample phrases and how I use them in my listings. But first, if you're new here, thanks for joining me today. Hi, I'm Rebecca. <laughs> I am a semi full-time reseller on Poshmark and ThreadUp and I dabble in a lot of other things. But today we are talking about Poshmark and how we can really focus on increasing our Poshmark sales and building a better listing. So I have some notes. I definitely wanna go in depth with you on some of these things. So for me, when I'm thinking about crafting a listing and I do call it crafting a listing, I don't just sit there and go bing, 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 bing. Over. Like you're doing the work. You've bought the item, you've sourced the item, you've prepped the item, you've taken photos. Like you want to now create a listing or craft a listing that is focused on getting that item sold. You don't want to just throw in words. You don't want to just click buttons. You want to make it so that it sells. And I think being intentional from the beginning can really help. And that may be a mindset shift for you. For me, when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about what is going to get this item out of my house <laughs> or out of my storage unit. So you're you're trying to craft a listing, okay? And the the main goal for me put in as many appropriate keywords as possible as many appropriate keywords that make sense for that item and that way your item will get found in more searches so you can share your items all day long right like you could share a hundred times a day but if you don't have the right keyword that item is not gonna get found when someone searches for a keyword that you're missing so like for an example is searching for striped sweater but you don't include striped in your title or your description. You say cashmere, crew neck, long sleeve, super soft. You say all of these things, but you don't have the word striped in there. You could share that item all day long, but if someone types in striped sweater or striped cashmere sweater or whatever, you're missing that word. And so your item is not going to come up. And so by adding a keyword to that listing, you're gonna enhance the number of times your item shows up in a potential search. And there's buyers searching all the time. And we have no idea how they're searching for things. So the more relevant, appropriate keywords you can add in there, the better. Now, this isn't the first time I've talked about this. I have a whole separate video about keywords and I have a keywords list in my Etsy shop. So that's been covered. I've talked about that. If you haven't seen that, please do check that out. What we're doing here is taking it a step further. Okay. So you obviously want to put the appropriate keywords in there. Then you want to accurately describe the item so that your buyer will know what they're getting and they feel good about what they see is what they're going to get. And so that kind of lends itself into boosting buyer confidence, which I do have a separate video on as well and building a listing template. So if you wanna know more information about that, you can check out those videos. And so you wanna make the buyer feel like you're not hiding anything, you didn't purposely not take a picture or purposely not disclose a flaw, all that kind of stuff. You wanna add in that buyer confidence line that let them know that you ship same next day or that you're a professional seller or that offers are welcome like those kinds of things okay so that's the next portion of things adding a bunch of keywords describing your item properly boosting buyer confidence that's going to help you get found describe the item and boost buyer confidence so now that all of those things are covered we're moving into the next area which is enticing your customer or potential customer to be a customer <laughs> so getting them to put in that offer or getting them to hit that buy now button you want to make it easy for them to buy you want to paint the picture and close the sale 
sale. And so I used to be in sales. And so I guess having a communications background and a sales background to me, it doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel funny to say things that will make something seem attractive. And so for me, it's not a struggle. But when I had a reseller chat with one of my reseller chat clients, I, I hate to call them clients, but people that hired me to do a reseller chat to pick my brain to, you know, learn some things. When we had a discussion, we talked about the fact that that person's background was not in sales and marketing. It was not in communications. It was in something that was very much black and white, very protocol driven, very follow a list of things. And that's fine. Some people are in accounting or law or like so many other areas. There's so many things that people do, but then they also find themselves reselling where their natural skill set does not necessarily lend themselves well to coming up with flowery language to describe an item. And I've talked about this too. Sometimes I look at the sweater, I'm like, it's a sweater. I have nothing else to say. (laughs) There's nothing here. You know, we all have those moments. But I do know that when I put my thinking cap on, I can come up with these nice descriptions that does paint the picture, that does make the potential buyer want to become a buyer. So some of those things I go, you know, kind of into the who, what, where, when, why. So I'm not going to go through all of those things in detail, but I will share with you that those are some of the main categories that I try to think about when I'm describing, you know, who's going to wear it, why are they wearing it, when are they wearing it, What is the purpose of it? And so that sometimes helps me fill out my listing description a little bit and paint that picture. One of the things that I've done is actually made my own list of keywords and sales phrases so that I can easily refer to it. And that way it takes less time to craft that listing because I'm not just sitting there completely dumbfounded every time, every item. So I would encourage you to make your own list of keywords and sales phrases, things that you gather over time that you can refer to so that when you do sit down to list, If you find yourself stumped, you can go ahead and make your listing more functional, sound better, and go faster when you consult the list. Now, if you have trouble coming up with these kinds of things, don't worry. Who's always here to help you? Rebecca. (laughs) So if you have trouble coming up with your own or you just want to save time, I got you. I have a list. I have a list for you. So I created my sales phrases guide. This is also now available in my Etsy shop. It's one of my newest, latest product. And I've been working on this as a result of having that conversation with one of my reseller chat clients. She really gave me the idea and told me about her struggle. And I know I've heard it out there, you know, in social media. And so I thought if I can put down all the things that I kind of use and do and add some more pizzazz and put it all in one place, you would have it too. So I'm actually going to share with you some of the keywords and some of the phrases I have in my guide and I'm going to tell you about it but I'm also going to share with you some of the things that are in it and if it's something that you are interested in go ahead and just click the link down below to my Etsy shop and you can purchase it for yourself and help save time. A list of 100 sales keywords and 100 sales phrases that you can just mix and match and kind of plug in whenever you feel stumped and whenever you're crafting your list. When you're thinking about keywords one of the things that I try to think about, and this is like a basic sales principle, is what is the feeling or the benefit or the advantage? Like when you're in sales training, they always talk about features and benefits. So you can tell them the features, like it has a scoop neck, it is long sleeve, it is button front. Those are features of the item and those are good, but you can, you know, that's basic. That's not really telling them what they're going to get out of it. So your goal is to try to tell them about the benefit that they're going to get when they buy this item. So some of the things that I put down just to share with you here. And again, I have a hundred of them in the guide. One of them is packable. So this tells them that it's a benefit to them because it's packable. Another keyword that goes along with this is like wrinkle resistant. You're letting them know or non iron those kinds of things. You're letting them know that the benefit is that they don't have to iron it, that it's not going to get wrinkled and that they can pack it with no problem. So for some items, adding packable is a keyword. People search packable jacket, packable vest, things like that. Then another word is elongate. So you're letting them know that by putting on this item, it's going to visually elongate. The other things that I have for this are flattering and slimming. So these aren't features necessarily, they're benefits. 
They are uh, the benefit to the customer when they are wearing this item. And so adding terms like packable, elongate, flattering, and slimming can help paint the picture for someone for that item of what it would be like on and how it's going to make them look and the benefit that they're going to get and how they're going to feel once they're wearing it. So I just wanted to share a few of those. I am going to share some phrases as well, but I did want to share a few keywords just so you can get an idea of the types of things that you would find in the guide. Now, as far as phrases go, these are things that you can mix and match. And obviously you have to plug in what makes sense for you. So like one of the examples I have is if you really want to make a statement, go with a XYZ and then you could put in trucker denim jacket or, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to find a phrase within the list that makes sense for that item. Don't put things that don't make sense. So if you really want to make a statement, go with a floral shift dress, whatever. Your new favorite effortless essential exclamation point. I love to, and I'm going to talk about how I kind of craft my phrases. I like to put something short and snappy up front and then actually describe the item using all the keywords that I want. So it comes up in search and then I kind of end with something else. So I'm actually going to share with you two examples so that you can see how I actually put this into practice. Okay, great. So here is an example of how I kind of put this into practice. So Carmen Mark Valvo floral shift dress. That's what I have in my title, just kind of your basic stuff that you need to have. But then in my description, it reads so simple yet so elegant. The sweet floral print on this black leaveless Carmen Mark Valvo shift dress is a perfect addition to your summer wardrobe. Dress it up or dress it down. The exposed back zipper is the perfect finishing touch. Excellent pre-owned condition with no flaws. Measurements in photos. Ship same next day. Professional seller. Offers welcome. Like for price drops. So that is following a lot of things that I have learned over time. <laughs> it's taken me a long time to get to this point to kind of craft a listing like this. But now that I have it, all of the things that I've learned, I've made available to you in my various different videos and my various different products. And I really hope that you get a benefit from them because it really can make a difference. When you just list words, it's not appealing to people. It's not enticing to people. It doesn't paint the picture. When you have a lot of line breaks, Poshmark says that that's not a good thing for SEO and that's something I recently changed. I used to have my listings as more of a form if you will. And now I'm trying to put them into more of sentence and paragraph form. And you don't have to make a fully coherent sentence necessarily. You can list some things, some phrases with commas. You know, I do that on some of my listings as well. But the ones that I'm really trying to give it everything I've got, I try to start with a quick little snappy kind of salesy phrase up front. So simple yet so elegant. And then I get into sentences that drop all of those keywords that are going to help it get found in search. So sweet, floor, Floral, black, sleeveless, the brand, shift dress, summer, and then dress it up, dress it down is how I end it. So there's a lot of keywords in that one sentence, but it sounds nice and it paints a picture and it's going to make them want to add this to their summer wardrobe. And then they can dress it up or dress it down. And that's something you can add to a lot of listings. Like I wouldn't necessarily say adding the same exact sales phrase to every single one of your listings because people do shop around in your closet and then they see that. I've seen that in other closets and it didn't rub me the right way. But you can can use it frequently. I just wouldn't use it in every single one of your listings. Again, the sales phrases guide has a hundred keywords that you can just plug in and drop in and then a hundred sales phrases, sentences, things like this that you can really use. Then it goes on to say the exposed back zipper is the perfect finishing touch. So it adds another information point about that it's an exposed back zipper, which may or may not be something that people search by, but it does give them the information. One of the things I always quote is one of my good YouTuber reseller friends, Chris at Daily Refinement, who always says, and I just love this and I steal it every time, describe the item like there's no photos and photograph the item like there's no description. So by me providing everything in photos, as well as listing it all in a nice way in the description, you're going to hit all of those points. My saying is give them every reason to buy and no reasons not to buy. And that's what I'm trying to do in this example. And then I followed up with excellent pre-owned condition with no flaws, which is my little condition line. Measurements in photos because I use my photo ready measurements form. This is actually the first prototype. I have a better version now that's also available in my Etsy store. And so all I have to do is say refer to the photos and it looks nice and it's with the garment. And then I put my buyer confidence line, which is same uh, that ship same next day. Professional seller offers welcome like for price drops. I used to have emojis in there. I've taken those out per Poshmark saying you shouldn't have 
have emojis. So that's like kind of my perfect listing. I don't have it on all of my listings. I'm going to be going through a revision here of fixing all of my listings to put everything into practice that I've gathered over time. But I did want to share with you a couple of examples. Here's another one. Anthropology relaxed chino pants white 29. So that's your title, basic up front. Then we have the description. A must add staple to your wardrobe. These cropped ankle anthropology relaxed chino pants in white are perfect for a day at the office or a night out with your friends. Size 29, excellent pre-owned condition with no flaws. Ship same next day, bada bada bada. So it's the same line except on items that I have more characters, I add in my offer. It's a promotion that I run all the time and you may have seen it in you know various videos I've talked about it. So when I have enough characters, I go ahead and add my promotion line in text. I also have it most of the time. Sometimes I forget. Nope. See, I have it here in a graphic as well. Mm, yeah. Bundle any. I, yeah, I don't know why I thought that was wrong. And then I also have a graphic with my buyer confidence. So it's in the photos and it's written out in the description. But the general point here for today is about the salesy language and making it enticing and not just saying white cropped ankle relaxed fit like anybody could say that and everybody does say that make your listing stand out and sell to them a little bit. Once you get in the flow of creating a listing this way, it does get faster. And because you have the sales phrases guide, perhaps whether you make your own, because obviously you could certainly make your own, or you purchase mine to save time and effort. Once you have that, you just drag and drop and plug and copy and paste. And it is very easy and saves a lot of time and really makes a difference in your listings. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Here's my Etsy store. It really is all of the products and tools and resources that I came up with for myself in my business or I got an idea from someone like this one. I actually didn't have this. This wasn't something that I utilized, but someone out there told me that that was a struggle for them and I came up with it to help solve the problem, which I know she's not the only one. And now it's actually helped me with my listings as well. So it kind of started with her and then it helped me as well and I hope it helps all of you. So what I wanted to point out is it's an etsy.com slash shop slash Rebecca the reseller and then the products that I'm talking about this is the sales phrases guide and I'll show you here so it's basically six pages I do like an overall guide to kind of give you general information I talk about the who what where when and why and provide some resources and details so that's that I have the hundred keywords and then I have three pages basically of the sales phrases all here ready for you to just drag and drop and plug and play into your listings and then I provided some additional examples besides the two that I talked about here so there's a couple other examples in there as well. So it's six pages of information. I try to be really detailed with it. I hope that you will consider purchasing it if this is something that you think you struggle with. But you can also make your own, as I've said before. So there's the sales phrases guide. Now, many people have bought my keywords list, but it is there as well. And I have a little graphic here to show you that if you bundle, you can bundle both of them and save 20%. So if you would like the keywords list, which has 400 keywords and the sales phrases guide, all you have to do is put Put them both in your car on Etsy and use code bundle and it will give you 20% off of both of those. So I think that's a pretty good investment in your business to enhance your listings. You could very well make that investment back with the sale of one item, depending on what you have in your closet. Okay, so that's everything I have to say about how to take a look at your listings in a new way. If this is new to you, try to enhance them and try to focus on crafting a listing that will sell. Instead of just looking at listing as something that you have to do, something to check off your list, so many that you need to get done during a day, let's really focus on creating and crafting the best possible listing that will sell by focusing on adding as many appropriate keywords as possible so that your item can get found in search, going ahead and making sure that you accurately describe that item so that the customer or potential customer feels like what you said they're going to get is actually what they're going to get, and then providing boosting confidence language, things that help them feel better about making the purchase from you and make them want to purchase from you. And then finally tying it all up with an enticing listing that gives them every reason to buy and no reasons not to to buy. Paint that picture, close that sale, and make all the sales you possibly can. I wish you nothing but the best, guys. I hope you will subscribe to the channel for more reseller content like this so we can hang out again. Like this video on your way out and leave me a comment down below. If you have a free favorite sales phrase, tell it down below. Let everybody get a little bit of information from the comments. That would be awesome. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!